BMW. It's finally about time to start talking about how you're actually going to build your website. And the way that you build your site will directly affect two out of the three factors that search algorithms look for when ranking sites. Your usage data, what takes place on your site, and the on-site factors, your tagging, your internal linking, your site maps, all of that stuff that takes place online. That's two out of three. The other stuff is your domain authority, which takes place off the site, which we're going to show you how to do later. There's about four critical pages that we focus on when building a property management website. There's the home page, the property management service pages, the homes for rent pages, and the blog. Today I'm going to tell you exactly how to build your home page and there's a lot of confusion out there and I see a lot of property management companies try to pack everything they do on the, on the front page. We don't think that's the best way to do it. Your home page should exactly match the branding of your offline company. And it should be a generic introduction to the services that you provide. There are four, at least four different types of personas that are gonna visit a typical property management website. You've got prospective tenants and existing tenants. You've got prospective owners and existing owners. Some of you do HOAs, some of you do real estate, some of you do some investment services. To try to cram all of that information onto the front page is extremely confusing for your visitors and, a, and is a very bad user experience. We recommend instead that your home page is going to be more of a traffic cop, which once a persona arrives there, whether it's from a search, from your business card, from, your, from a yard sign, you're going to make big calls to action. Those are just big buttons and call outs on your website that are going to take those personas to a detailed portion of the website where you have the content that's relevant to that particular persona. Your prospective tenants really don't care about your management services and owners looking to hire you may not really care about your home rental inventory. So it's important for your home page to be a good introduction for what you do, but also a traffic cop to get your different personas to the content that they want. Typical calls to action you're going to see on your, on your home page are going to be uh, a buttons to your management services pages, your properties for rent section, your owner portals, your tenant portals, any other major portion of your business that you do is going to be called out on your front page. Now some of the nitty gritty that you want to do on your home page that a lot of property managers don't do that search engines look for. Remember we mentioned earlier that SEO is an attention to detail undertaking, which means the more that you do right, the higher you score on certain areas within the algorithm, the better you're going to do versus your competitors. Every front page needs to have a sitemap, both XML and HTML. This is how you tell the search engines exactly the new, exactly what page and what pages exist on your website. Every time one gets created, that sitemap should automatically be updated and submitted to the search engine so that they can come in and look at that new page. You want to have blog snippets. We're going to talk more about this later. We don't want the blog to be on the front page, but we want you to call out your blog on the front page. We also want you to put a, a paragraph or a few sentences introducing your most recent post with a link to the blog post on, in your website. We'll get to that later as well. We want you to internally link all your important pages, preferably with anchor text. Anchor text is just a term in the link that links it to the appropriate page helps a little bit with search. We want you to have original properly tagged photos and if, pro if possible we want you to have a company video. This video should be a professional, as professional of a video as possible. It should talk about what your business does and if possible you should have one of your, one of your customers in there talking about how important your services are. Finally, the actual tagging, the title tagging, the description tagging, all those meta tags. Uh, for tagging, again, it should be generic like the home page. It should just briefly tell what your company does. Property management and property managers in Denver, as an example, houses and homes for rent in Denver, and then your company name. That's it. Don't get too detailed on that. Your meta description, 
should have your search terms within it, but should be creative and exciting. Your meta description is what's going to appear in your search result when someone does a search and finds your company. So you wanna make sure that that stuff is creative, contains one of the search terms that you're looking to be optimized for, and, and shows your company in a great light. Now, there's a lot of stuff there that's very general. It's pretty hard to get into the nitty gritty and the details on a video. Um, our recommendation is that you, as a property manager, there's very little crossover between doing property management and building a property management website. We recommend that you get some help, whether it's us or somebody in your life that's very good at, at SEO, find a local expert, find somebody to help you to do, with, to do this. It's more important that you're out managing property and that your website's being looked at by somebody that knows exactly what they're doing. If you have any questions for me, my name's Dave. You can reach me, dave at kova.com, K-O-H-V-A.com. Thanks a lot and have a great day.